Hey folks, Rich here at rcinformer.com. Thanks for checking out this video on the E-Flight ASK-21 micro glider. This particular glider belongs to my friend Chuck McHugh, who flies at the uh, field that I go to, and he is a developer of parachute systems, and he specializes specifically in deployment systems, which means that Chuck is an expert at returning things to Earth safely using a parachute. And what he has done is designed what you see right here, which is a uh, deployable power pod for this airplane. So uh, it doesn't. It seems that, you, that that the normal high start bungee system uh, and the uh, tow system uh, for this airplane really doesn't get the airplane up to sufficient altitude. So Chuck's developed this uh, cradle, which is essentially a wing cradle with a motor, an ESC, a small battery. Uh, and a um, parachute and the parachute sits between the fuselage and this little package that you see right here and from this next shot you can see this little pin here uh, this little uh, clip that he designed looks like sort of like a paper clip fits up into the tow release slot so you can get the airplane up in the air with a motor now and the power package when you flip the switch for to release the tow cable uh, the whole system will drop away from the airplane and parachute safely to earth. Uh, as you can see here, here's what it looks like uh, attached to the airplane. And you can see here in this shot, uh, Chuck launching the, the airplane. And you can see it has lots of power and gets it up there. Um, once the plane is up at a real high altitude, you can then go ahead and release, uh, flip the switch to release the, uh, the, the power pod. The power package drops away here nicely with a parachute and it lands safely on the earth. Um, and that allows you to go ahead and glide the airplane uh, uh, down. Now, um, to further explain how all this works, uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to Chuck and let him explain this to you in his own words. Okay, what we have is the Micro ASK-21. And it has issues with gaining enough altitude to do some decent thermaling. So what I've come up with is a detachable power pod. Power pod consists of a receiver with the ESC and a battery pack and a motor. And it has a parachute recovery system. I hook it over the wings and I use the onboard tow release to connect the top of it. This gives me a secure mount. Here's the micro switch. You can see the function that whenever it's attached, there it's off. All right. So that if the radio is not connected, or if the battery's plugged in, you got power. As soon as it falls away, it shuts it down. All right, that's cool. Now, packing it probably doesn't have to be as complex as I make it, but it's occupational hazard. That's right. Chuck, Chuck uh, uh, pa uh, packs parachutes and does a lot of skydiving, so he's uh, he's the master at this. I don't know about a master, but I'm still alive. <laughs> that's right. It's all about it. Yeah. There is the parachute. Now this is probably where I'm getting a little bit strained, but all right, where'd my wire go? Stuck it up so we can lose it. There we go. I didn't want the lines of the parachute to foul anything. So after a little bit of thought, I came up with a sleeve. Okay. To store the lines in. Because I didn't want them to spider. I just Lines entangling uh, on the airframe would be dangerous. So you just use the, the that steel um, rod to pull the... Right, it's basically like you would okay. fish wires through a conduit with. All right, and that just keeps them from getting all entangled, huh? Correct. All right, that's a good idea. I just, the thought of having these wires, or these suspension lines loose and squirreling right. around under the fuselage, because technically this is pretty much a free pack method. Let's say free pack, that means the parachute's not contained in any kind of deployment device. It's just packed in here and held on by the friction. And there we go. Parachute is packed, aircraft is armed. Now we'll attach this system. I use the clip just to hold everything packed and contained for convenience. Insert it over the wings. If you notice here, put this into the tow release and engage. There you have it. All right. Now, when I plug the battery in here, this will automatically arm itself and I have power. 
that has a micro switch here so that once I release and it falls away, it will shut this down so it's not laying on the ground trying to imitate the rest of the control movements and eat up battery. Now, here we go. We have control. All right, one of the things you'll notice is I have a slight up thrust on the motor. I've got enough power here to counteract the natural nose heaviness. Right now she's extremely nose heavy and it probably couldn't fly all the way back to the ground without power. It certainly wouldn't glide because it's definitely where nose heavy. So if, with that in mind, that's how we get away with it. In fact, at full throttle she'll actually start a climb that I have trouble controlling. Now for the sake of this video, I'm going to keep the altitude low on this flight so we can demonstrate everything clearly. As you can see, I have a control rate, I have a good climb rate, and I'm nowhere near full throttle. Okay, am I power off eject? If you'll watch the parachute a while. Yes. Watch his descent rate. I'm watching the chute coming down. Notice the power pod's descent rate was such that it won't hurt anything and it falls in the side view. Man, there it, falls it is. Sideways. There it is right there. Here's one last look at the top side of the unit. Over on the left, you can see the receiver power kill switch again. And on the right, there you can see the uh, toe clip uh, where the toe release pin uh, engages. Also, in the upper right hand, uh, upper right -hand corner, I put the, uh, a picture of the uh, motor. Now as we uh, flip this over and show you the underside of the unit, uh, essentially this whole uh, unit, power unit, is uh, the, the, the power unit from a UMX uh, GB racer that, uh, that Chuck had. So all those components are the same. The only thing he added in there was the kill switch that uh, uh, kills the circuit uh, to the battery. Now keep in mind that this whole uh, power system from the GB racer is also bound to the same transmitter that the airplane is bound to. So you basically have two receivers bound to the same transmitter at the same time. The only difference is, is this receiver board doesn't have any servos plugged into it and all you're operating is the uh, throttle. Uh, once this uh, is uh, released from the airplane, the kill switch shuts it off and again it floats, uh, floats uh, smoothly uh, down to earth. Anyway guys, uh, uh, this concludes this video on uh, this power package uh, for the uh, ASK21 glider pod. I uh, hope you guys liked it, found it uh, informative. I'm going to go ahead and post this on RC groups and uh, uh, I'll leave a link at the bottom of the video of where the posting is. So if anybody watching this uh, wants to ask some questions for me or Chuck uh, and find out how to make one of these for yourself, uh, feel free to check out the link. Once again guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.